What's up guys? In this video, I will show you how to do the Amazon keyword research and get ranked at the top of the Amazon by targeting the low competition, easy keywords for your products. So without further ado, let's get started. The tool that I'm using for this tutorial is called Keyword Scout from Jungle Scout Web App. This is part of the Jungle Scout Web App. So you don't need to pay anything extra to get access, which is great. And if you want to get access, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can get access at a deeply discounted price. After you found a good product that you want to add to your store, you need to create a listing. And if you use the right keyword for your listing, this can help Amazon to shoot you to the top of the first page and get flooded by organic visitors and sales. In this video, I will show you exactly how you can use Keyword Scout to target the right keywords for your products. In order to use Keyword Scout, after you logged into your Jungle Scout web app, go to this keyword section and then click on Keyword Scout. Okay, in this page, let's say you want to sell baby towel. Okay. So this is a product that you're trying to focus on and you're wondering what sort of keywords you need to use in order to get ranked. Once you search for a certain keyword, this page pops up, okay? And in this grid, there are a couple of columns that are more important and you need to focus on. And if you're wondering what are those columns, the first one is the monthly searches. The 30-day search volume exact is the number of times that people search for that specific keyword without adding any keyword before or after it. And as you can see, the baby towel is getting searched 21,100 times every single month. The 30-day search volume brought is the number of times that specific keyword gets searched with additional keyword before, after, or in between the keywords. The recommended promotion is the number of units that you, need, that you need to give away for seven to 14 days in order to get your listing ranked at top three results on Amazon. The next column is a sponsored brand ad, also called headline search ad. This is a column, this is basically the spot that you can see at top of Amazon search result. So this is amount that is estimated that you need to bid in order to have 90% win rate to show up at that specific spot. Keep in mind that to use a sponsored brand ad, uh, you need to have at least three brand registered products on Amazon. So if you have only two products, you won't be able to use this feature. The PPC bid exact is the cost of a bid for that specific keyword inside the exact match ad. And here is inside the broad match ad. The ease to rank is pretty self-explanatory and tell you how easy it is for a new product to rank for this specific keyword. As you can see, uh, our keyword, the baby towel, is not that easy. It's somewhat difficult and you definitely just want to go for easier keywords when you just start now with Amazon. The relevancy score tells you how relevant this keyword is to the one that you searched, to the keyword or the ASIN that you searched. And with higher number being more relevant and lower number being less relevant to the one that you searched. The second way to do your keyword research is through the ASIN numbers. So you need to go to the Amazon and type in your keyword and scroll down to see which one, not this one, which is added sponsored one. And go, to, go scroll down and find the organic one that's uh, ranking at the top of Amazon. Like this one is Amazon choice. It's, this is one is doing all right. So open it in the new tab and search for ASIN. And as you can see, this is the ASIN number. Copy it and go back to the Jungle Scout and paste it here. Click search. So you can see it's getting ranked for a lot of low volume keyword. Um, click here to sort it for you from high to low. So it's gonna show you the keywords with high volume. So you can see that it is getting ranked for thousands of keywords, man. Look at that, 500, 600, 
400 like there are so many keywords and when you scroll to the side you can see most of them are easy to rank right most of them are easier to rank easy to rank and the ppcs so what you need to do you need to go for uh, keywords with uh, reasonable monthly searches and um, low PPC okay so you need to make sure that the PPC cost is not that much so you don't need to spend so much money to get ranked for that keyword also you can see there is you can use these keywords like some of them smoothly uh, somehow in your title in your description so you can tell Amazon what your product is about so Amazon can rank you for other easier keywords don't go for one keyword with really high volume and difficult with, with a high difficulty right because it's almost impossible to get ranked for that but you can go for somehow that's what they call the longer tail keywords with lower uh, difficulty so you can easily rank for those keywords and once you get ranked for those keywords you give your listing a bit of momentum a bit of sell and once Amazon can tell that your listing is doing all right it's gonna automatically rank you for other related keywords so this is how you can tell what sort of keywords your competitors are getting ranked for and use the keywords that are somehow related to the product that you are selling. So you don't need to use all of them. Use the ones that are related to your listing, okay? And if you wanna save them somewhere, you can just add, you can just select the one that you like and click here to create a new list and name it with whatever you want so you can tell which list is for what product. So after you added the keyword, you can always check your lists here in the keyword list section. So this is the key, this is the list that I call that I call the baby towel list. You can see all the keywords being added. You can edit these keywords, you can add it, you can delete it, you can move it from one list to another. Once you search for your competitor's keywords, you can come back after a couple of months and search again for that certain 18 to see what sort of other new keywords your competitors are getting ranked for and add them to your lists to use them for your listing or for your campaigns. So let's go back to our baby towel example. So here, the rule is to get ranked organically for keywords is to find keywords with reasonably good monthly searches. You don't have to be for hundreds of thousands or or, two, or I don't know man, like 20,000. You can go for a couple of thousand monthly searches, but make sure the ease to rank is easy it's not difficult ppc and sponsored brand ad is low for example let's go to this one let's go check out this keyword what is it baby washcloth soft this keyword is easy to rank for and sponsored brand ad is only 10 cents meaning five dollars is going to get you 50 clicks and if it is a good product this 50 clicks will convert to couple cells and for only $5, you get a couple of sales, and this tells Amazon that this product is selling, so Amazon is gonna rank you for other related keywords as well. So this is how you can basically use Jungle Scout, Keyword Scout, to find perfect opportunities. Like, this is absolutely great, man. The PPC maybe is not that low, it's pretty okay, but the sponsored brand ad, if you have three products, you can literally use this keyword to get flooded by sales if your listing is good okay this is absolutely great sometimes you can also find keywords with low ppc as well so make sure the ppc is low it's easy to rank for and has reasonable monthly searches this is how you do your product this is how you do your keyword research to find great opportunity for your listing um, you can also use other features like list builder and rank tracker you can use the list builder to use the keywords that you basically found here and add them to your listing on Amazon. Just basically just copy and paste it there also for the description as well. Um, this is pretty much it. This is how you do your keyword research using Keyword Scout. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched my video on how to do your product research, uh, make sure to check that out. I'm going to leave a link here in the description below and at the end of this video so you can check that out. That information goes hand in hand with this one. So you can use, you can use both of them in order to find a good products and create a good listing for your products to get ranked on top of Amazon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, comment. And if you haven't started your Amazon business or if you haven't started your Amazon business, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing with your Amazon business. 
and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like share comment also subscribe and tap that little bell so you'll be notified of the next video that's released when I release it see you in the next one